Hello, how are you over there? Welcome to hashtag the speaking chef channel. My name is Togo Zilegazi, popularly known as TK, the phenomenal one. And welcome to the first episode right here on hashtag the speaking channel. Today it is a Monday and that means that we are making something delectable we're making something flavorsome and we are making something appetizing do you know what we're making today today I am making caramelized onion and chicken pizza right I mean pizza is something that everybody likes it's a favorite of mine like if I can just live in the world and I eat pizza that would be great I would be fine with that so I want to know are there people here who don't like pizza are there Hmm? Okay, so our ingredients for the caramelized onion and chicken pizza is our dough over there and then we have the mozzarella cheese We have rocket We have the sauce the sauce over there is a mixture of mayonnaise as well as barbecue sauce Then we have some honey we have Worcestershire sauce or Worcester sauce depending how you pronounce it Then we've got some onions over there and then right next to the onions we've got chicken so I cooked the chicken already and I prepared it like that added some spices to it and then all I need to do now is to shred it so that I can top it on my pizza and then top it with the mozzarella cheese and obviously if you are a fan of cheese you can add some more cheese on your pizza So over here we have got our dough which we have kneaded it literally took 15 to 20 minutes for it to proof because I had placed it next to some heat and that had um, it speeded up the process of leavening so what you then do is that you just rub some flour roll it like that using your hands what the flour does guys is that it stops your hands from sticking or rather it stops the flour from sticking to your hands so the more flour you add to your surface the better the kneading process will be this is an important process as well so make sure that you do it well and as you saw there you test it with putting your knuckle into the dough and when it bounces back that shows that you have kneaded your dough well so you just continue to rub the flour in the dough you knead well you use your strength you use your muscles at this point in time because you want the dough to be kneaded to perfection So this is the shape that you are looking for you're looking something like this right so you want if you want your crust to be you know more thick then you'll roll it like on the side so that your crust is more thick like that you can put it here make it jump like that mm -hmm. and also if you want there to be like bubbles you can just make some knots on the side so you use your your knuckles to just do that over there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's get started with our topping. So in the pan I've got oil, I'm adding some onion in there. So you're just going to stir your onion. And one thing about onions and frying onions and making caramelized onion is the fact that the onions release natural sugars, right? The onions release natural sugars. So as you are stirring your onions, you're sauteing them and you're frying them, natural sugars from the onion itself are being released. Hence, I'm using honey instead of sugar. So I'm caramelizing my onion using honey as well as Worcestershire sauce. And I'm not adding any sugars since the onions release their own natural sugars. And also guys, I'm using Worcestershire sauce because I haven't got balsamic vinegar. But on a, on a normal day, I would use balsamic vinegar. But since I don't have it, I've substituted it with some Worcestershire sauce. So you keep stirring and frying your onion up until it's looking translucent and it's soft. But one thing you want to bear in mind is that you do not want to burn your onion. Make sure that you don't burn your onion, but you just keep stirring it and you allow it to just fry and become soft. Now at this point, if you take a closer look into the pan, you'll notice that the onions have started to brown. So now I'm um, adding my honey because my onions are now soft and they've cooked through. So I'm adding the honey for the stickiness and to caramelize the onion and also for the sweetness. And then I've got it. I'm going to add a drop of Worcestershire sauce in there. This is adding an extra flavor to the onion. I'm stirring, so you keep stirring like that. Remember the onions are now cooked. So all you're doing now is just stirring in the Worcestershire sauce that you've added as well as the honey that you have added. Oh, look at that. That is exactly how you want it to look. Smells so great. Now let's get to our base. All right, so over here, we've got the pizza base or the pizza dough. 
And what I'll be doing is that now I'll be spreading the sauce over this pizza base. And the sauce I'm using, remember, is barbecue um, sauce with some mayonnaise. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add drops of this sauce on the pizza base and I'm going to spread it. I'm using mozzarella cheese, but you can use any cheese that you've got in your fridge. So I'm spreading the sauce over the pizza base and ensure guys that every corner of the pizza base gets a little bit of sauce so that your pizza is not dry but it is juicy and full of flavor. Okay, now I'm topping my pizza base with some mozzarella cheese. I'm quite a cheesy girl, so I add lots and lots of cheese. So don't be shy when you're adding the cheese at this point. Add your cheese. So after adding the mozzarella cheese, I am going to pop this baby in the oven for seven to 10 minutes. Okay guys, so over here, there's the pizza. So you've got the pizza dough. We've got the, we've spread it. We've spread the sauce in here. Remember the sauce is not your typical tomato sauce that they usually use on a pizza base. What I've used is a mixture of mayonnaise as well as barbecue sauce, right? And then I've topped it with my mozzarella cheese. I did say you can use any type of cheese you've got in your fridge, but I've got some mozzarella and so I'm using some mozzarella cheese. Now I'm going to pop this in the oven for about seven to 10 minutes, okay? But let me give you a closer look first. So that's what you have, the mozzarella. You can see the sauce is brown because it's a mixture of barbecue and mayo. So I'm gonna pop that in the oven like that. Um, there we go. Just like that. Seven to 10 minutes in the oven. I've got it on 200 degrees. I think you can also do 180 degrees, uh, but 200 is always best. So you'll see after 10 minutes, after seven minutes, it will start looking uh, golden brown and the cheese will have melted. So once I take it out, I'll add more of the toppings, my chicken, as well as the caramelized onions. Now let's begin to top our gorgeous pizza, which has just come out of the oven. So I've got my caramelized onion. I'm going to top my pizza with some caramelized onion. You can choose whatever topping you like and top your pizza with your favorite topping. I have chosen to use some caramelized onions, which I have flavored with some Worcester sauce and some honey. So I'm topping that over there. And then I'm going in with the chicken something meaty on my pizza i always love something meaty so that's why i've used some chicken so i am not shy so if you're also using some chicken do not be shy when it comes to that chicken add that chicken baby girl add it Now that I'm done, I'm going in with the mozzarella cheese. You can use whatever cheese you've got. I'm going for some mozzarella and I am going in very much deep. I am not shy as you can see, because I love myself some cheese. Then once that is done, I'm going to pop it back. In okay, time is up now. Let us get it out of the oven. Oh, nice and hot. Look at that. So seven to 10 minutes is now done. And there we have our pizza. 
It almost fell at this point, but thank God it did not fall. Okay, so we have got our pizza coming out of the oven. So it took me seven to 10 minutes to do this pizza. Well, for the first time, and then I did it again for another 10 minutes. So altogether, roughly, it took me 20 minutes to prepare this pizza. And then obviously, I had done my chicken prior and I just shredded it and then I caramelized my onion. You guys saw that process over there. And now what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to garnish our pizza. So sometimes people use basil, other people use micro rocket, but I'm using rocket. So I'm using rocket to garnish my pizza over there, just to give it some greenery. Okay. So what I love about rocket is that it also actually gives flavor, right? To the pizza. So I love that. And I also love the fact that it adds a green, you know, feel to the whole pizza. I would drizzle it with some balsamic glaze, which is basically reduced balsamic vinegar. But I ain't got no balsamic glaze, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just glaze it with some honeybee honey, okay? I'm just gonna glaze it with some honeybee honey. This is this is appropriate because remember the caramelized onion, we, 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 we added some honey to it. So it's not going to be a shock. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna drizzle it like that. Oh, look at that, my God. Okay, so that's what we have over there for our pizza. What do you usually drizzle your pizza with? Do you even drizzle your pizza? Hit me down on the comment section below and tell me exactly how you prepare your pizza. And you know, what's your take? How do you feel about my pizza? Hey guys, so we've come to that time where we have to taste, uh, where we have to taste. So let's taste it. Well, this is how it looks over there. You know when you taste something delicious and it's like, yeah, you just want to dance. <laughs> anyway, it's so good. I can taste the caramelized onion, the sweetness of the honey that's there. Um, you know, my cousin was saying that she was very skeptical about the honey, but when she tasted it, it was really nice. Super, super dope. Added some rocket over there. Drizzled some honey. You can drizzle some balsamic um, glaze if you'd like to. Added some chicken. You know what to do? So if you did enjoy this recipe or you enjoyed the video, please do try this recipe. And if you do try it, tell me if you would try it or if you would not try it and tell me what are some of your EU toppings like toppings that you'd never add to your pizza and toppings that you would add to your pizza i know that a lot of people love pepperoni so if pepperoni is one of your favorites as well please do tell me down in the comment section below but otherwise don't forget to l s s c n don't forget to like subscribe share comment and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a video. And it will be on a Wednesday. So see you guys on Wednesday. Mwah.